Hello, welcome back to Slice and Dice. I've been grinding this game, I gotta tell you. Uh, I haven't streamed it in like two days, and yet I've won, I think I've won like 11 runs in the last few days. Let me see, does it have timestamps? No, it doesn't. This one was cool, third turn in. Anyway, I've been putting in a little bit of effort. So I was like, ah, you know, I should do some recording. It's just that it's a lot easier to play these runs when I'm not recording. Uh, but... <laughs> It's okay. Uh, bottom poison five. Hey student, fuck off forever is what this curse is. Um, so again, first tip, if you're trying to hard win streak, click this button right away. Check the reroll. Um, I'm going to probably end up playing basic here. I think it's the most comfortable. I have, you know, my opinions have shifted quite a bit in terms of what's good and what's bad because curses have changed a lot. I think Monster Right is a fairly easy take. Especially, like, that bottom poison one looks unclickable. Uh, you should lock this. I need one damage here, two damage here. I need a... It's okay, I roll. Need a shield, and then student, your life is in your own hands. Good job, buddy. This is lethal. Very nice. Sinew, Maiko. I am fine with Sinew. My opinion of Maiko has fallen fairly drastically with the update. This character is now, in my mind, one of the worst that you can pick up for tier twos. The name of the game to me right now is damage. You want your first two picks to be good at doing damage. So that's what... God, I hate you, Clumsy. I mean, you're dead now. That is your own fault. Nothing you can do about that. Just eat it, I guess. You want your first picks to be able to do damage, though. I locked that cleave chain thinking I was going to hit something. I might actually die here now with that Clumsy start. You're doing three. This is fine. Sorry, I clicked off the game. My fault. You just burst here. Uh, Sinew will kill one wolf on his turn. Like, it, it has to happen. He has to roll it. Okay, fine. You play safe here. There's no reason to rush. You don't have to roll for it. You don't have to get stuck in the line. He's gonna have to roll it. Because if he, if he X's there, it gets very challenging. Uh, you roll all of this. There you go. See? Even in our worst of times, it's okay. Clumsy, ugh. Hate this guy. This is a no. Change of heart. I don't really like this. I want to think that it has something to it, but I don't really like it. I think Balasong is okay. One damage can't trip on the left side. It's not like... Actually, I take the random. I think Balasong never really does anything. Arrow is very nice, because now my Clumsy is less of an idiot. I like that a lot, actually. Because now it's guaranteed as well. I just pick a target and they die. Uh, we're going to roll for four damage here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we can go... Here it is. It's first plus exert. And that's the fight. Not too bad. Um, I don't love these picks. I'm not going to lie to you. I lean very slightly towards Gambler. But that is my hatred for Clumsy shining through. Mostly, it's not really that. It's that I, if, if the name of the game is damage, Jester is not very good. But I will take him because we have to take this off. Uh, Jester will pair nicely with Juggler, who is very good. It's okay, Clumsy. It's okay, Clumsy. Take your time. You'll get there. Uh, this is bad. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it here. This is not good. We should lock this, because we're gonna flick. If he rolls it again, it can be bad because Sinew is off, but that's unlikely. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I guess it's one in six, which is, uh, you know, unlikely is the correct term. It is not likely that he would hit that another time. You're looking for heal mana gain. You're dead, and you're dead. I think we roll. Mm -hmm. It's good to keep Clumsy alive here. 
You're going to give me... You're going to roll for three mana, for sure. Okay. Very well. This seems unlikely, but I think it's actually not that crazy. It's okay. We roll our four damage and we're all good here. You can... What are we on? You're on eight, you're on four, you're on three, you're on two. Now we roll. Okay. This is a push, basically, this turn. And I'm okay with that. It's no damage, but nobody dies. And I get a fresh set of rolls to start over. Uh, this is... how much? Puts you to five. That's fine. Uh, is that fine? That's fine. This puts you to four. You're on five, you're on six, you're on four if I lock this one. Okay. All of this is to set up for Sinew to kill in the following turn. I mean, it's up to him now, but I can burst. I get multiple chances at it. Uh, that does it. Okay. Not a good opener, though. Very, very bad opener. I'll be much better off once I get rid of this piece of shit. Uh, Clumsy is just actively terrible. Like, there is no no two ways about it. This character is very, very bad. It's it, it, it's like Meddler, but instead of Meddler making bones and then giving you value, Clumsy just kills herself and takes the turn off, which is very not good. But... I won't dwell on it, basically. It's all good. Mm -hmm. It's actually not all good. It's quite bad. This is very nice, though. This treble is times three, so now chain is an x3 instead of an x2, which means I can go like this and find ourselves in a much better position. Yes. Okay, I mean, hopefully we get Juggler here. As soon as we pick up something that isn't clumsy, this run is going to look a lot better. Basically the end. I don't want to harp on it too much, though, you know? It's like, uh, you know, it's fine. It is what it is. Sometimes you make do. This is Herbalist for sure. More consistent damage, right? Uh, there's a combo there where you're like, oh, Smith, and then this can hit a six cleave. The stars have to align for that to connect. Herbalist is just going to let me do two damage a lot of the time, which is all I really need. Are you guys hitting orange? I'm going to go for this guy. I need two mana here from Herbalist, I think. It might not happen. It's a bad look, I gotta say. We're having a really tough time, but that's okay. I think I'm going to be killing these militia by hand, so if I'm going to do that, I should flick. None of what's happening here, by the way, is surprising, I don't think. It's very reasonable that if your first picks are Sinew Jester, you're going to have a big damage output problem uh, quickly. Very quickly, you're going to have a damage output problem. If you die, Clumsy, it's really whatever. You have to play her like she's going to miss, though. That's all. Less than two. Wild Seeds is Undergrowth, which is uh, opposite side, which I'm pretty sure the opposite side is this way. It's left to right, middle to far right. Syringe is pretty terrible though. I really don't like this item. So, inner strength, oh, inner strength is good. And we get to reroll Clumsy into a better character. Inner strength is super good because this room was purple keywords. Purple keywords are exerts. So Sinew is now extremely good. Just like that, our run turns around quite heavily. Because now my Sinew can hit consistent damage and I have a character that can put out damage and has survivability too, so all good. It's just you have to. I find that. Uh, let me take a moment. Let me, let me uh, gather myself. I find that very often. I actually don't think I need to kill this slate here. Yeah, you don't have to because I'm dodging it. Very often what you're going to find is that the early game is the part that's really scary now, because the late game, most of the end game heroes got very buffed. There's not really a bad end game pickup right now, I don't feel like. Even Ace is okay uh, with the changes to his spell. So... Hmm. 
I don't have any plus ones for Spellblade, which is the trouble, but I can go Cleave Chain. Um, I don't know. It's kind of whatever, don't you think? Spellblade has a chance to be good if we get good items for her, but I don't like blind picking it. Monk is also not very good, though, so I will take Spellblade. But yeah, most of the bad characters in the endgame got either moved to green or uh, reworked, so pretty much everyone is good now. So if you just take your time through the early game and play smart and safe, you will find yourself getting away with a lot more, I think. This is unfortunate. The goal here is going to be to take this fanatic down. I don't want to poison him. He dies to these. Yeah, the goal here is just to get rid of this guy. You minimize variables. Although, unfortunately, Jester did just get killed. Oh no, I can save him. It's okay then. Uh, we don't really need to waste this one damage though. No flick here. It's all good. I could... Nah, it's all good. So yeah, now ideally... Yeah, he doesn't do this to me, but... Okay, we'll figure it out. You dodge. No shield. It's gotta be an exert from Sinew. Good. This defender? Brother. I'm gonna keep this heal so that you can have Herbalist save herself. You're saved, you're saved. So Defender, it's in your own hands. My man. What's going on? Sinew takes this one. You're on 10, you're on 5. You're on... And you're on nine eight or I'm gonna do this, I think. Cause I wanna be able to flick burst imps out. Not my problem, buddy. Yeah, sure buddy. Honestly just keep dodging. And now Bell is dead off of this. You kill here, you dodge. You vine, and we will... Actually, you can flick first. No, you cannot flick first. Uh, you can... I'm lost here. There's no reason to be silly. He'll run. Uh, no, he won't. He will actually say he wins this. And he might be right. Okay. No big deal. Bell got a little scarier too, but we, we mostly will lose this run to bad rolls on monster right turns. Like this? Ooh, buddy. <laughs> That's scary. But monster right is better if we have a better go, like if we have a better time. Better characters, I should say. This is Demon Eye. Three. It's just three damage. You can do whatever you like here. I actually think I'm going to be locking the four. Although, no, nah, because I'm not going to move the inner strength off of my guy. Yeah, what do you know? The good news is I can't lose to this. The bad news is, uh... Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Three plus two. I might be able to... Nah, you roll for damage here. Because if we kill one of these, I think we save a character. Okay. Dodge, very nice. I think I can save one here. Oh god. You save Sinew or do you save... You can't save Herbalist. Herbalist is taking a trillion. You save Sinew. That's fine. Only three deaths. Not a big deal. Sure. Ooh, good fight for me. I say you should always skip these, but Poultice is probably worth adding a rat. I doubt it's going to be a big deal. By the way, I just want to say, in case anyone thinks it, Guardian for this combo? You're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> you are out of your mind, if you thought it. You, I, I wish to live in a world as hopeful as you. Uh, the problem with Arrow here is that it converts, like, all of Spellblade's shit. Spellblade is better than Arrow. And Sinew is also better than Arrow. Defender would play Arrow there, but that's it. And there's no defending here. Only one grave high-rolled me, which is good, because, you know, 
Uh, don't don't get it twisted. I expected at least one to hit it. Two was the bad outcome. Uh, we're fine though, because we have Herbalist into this fight, which is, I would not have taken this if I didn't have Herbalist. That's the other note for you. Also, no need to kill this Quartz. Didn't think about it all the way. We can go like, kill Rat. And then we can take two Graves out instead. That's much better. We're approaching escape velocity here, for sure. Uh, this run should make it, but we can definitely lose to a little bit of a bad set. And that's the risk you take, but like, I don't know. Was there a better curse than this? Maybe. But we're in the learning phase, so I'm not too worried about perfect curse selection yet. We just try shit. Um... I don't really like Cocoon. These, especially with Monster Right, you cannot pick Cocoon, actually. Ordinary Triangle. I think it's just too niche. It's really hard to make this good. Oh, but two random tier threes. I'll go for it. Maybe we hit something good. Abacus? Sure. Aegis is pretty shit, but Abacus is a sure from me, buddy. Uh, maybe we get Roulette, and then we can play Abacus Aegis for Roulette. Actually, uh, we could just play Inner Strength on Roulette, I'm pretty sure. I haven't had a whole lot of Roulette opportunities on 3.0. Thank you, Jester. You're my brother. Fine. Uh, Zombies kind of high rolled. Two is a little unexpected, but that's okay. I'm good here. We just wait. Because if I, I hold the imbue because then you can roll three damage cleave, and if he rolls that, uh, both zombies die. Ooh, he almost rolled it. He thought about it. Oh, he thought about it. He's teasing me. You see this shit? He's fucking with me. You see it? He's going, oh, ah, ha, ha. Got me you look. Ah, ha, ha. I really like Sinew. It's all good. Take your time, buddy. We'll kill them normally. It's not a big deal, right? This is, the zombies are the big four HP enemies left. This is like the guy where you go, oh, this is where you want four health, right? Or like, this is what you want four damage for. It doesn't really matter. I don't think. Nah, fuck no. Golden Cup is cool, but I'm not adding a spiker to Lich. Yeesh. Um. Just run through it in my head real quick. I think Prince is an absolutely not. This would give you X9 though. Prince is an absolutely not. Agent is very good. But Agent does very specifically need someone to help her out. Right now we're just sitting on this three damage shifter hoping. So it's not a great start, but which is a uh, weak in three, so. What'd you hit? Plus one pit for everything affecting me. Double growth. Ooh, okay, I wanna go for that. Definitely. That's okay, Agent. Oh, Herbalist has growth for Agent, so there's a little bit of a combo still working here. There's no reason to take this one. Also, banking one mana there is not worth it. This is going to be a very long fight. I would love to roll a cleanse here, Cleric. Did you roll? Is that Era? And this is sixth. We actually proc six, which is, uh, this is times two if you, this is the sixth dice of the turn. Uh, very often we will proc that. Hmm, that's fine, we got Era. I don't mind. And we go vine, 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 so we don't waste one damage. Good. I would have liked to cleanse this, because I could get... I mean, this fight will never go so long that you need you run out of sides. It just doesn't happen on Lich. He's not that kind of fight. Because he's too slow, basically. He's only petrifying you two at a time. Ah, uh, off by one. Tragic. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. But he's only petrifying you two at a time, and it takes a long time for two at... Petrify them? Oh, shit. 
That's kind of sweet. Roll me a quad use. No, stop it. I don't want to petrify them. Alright, whatever, buddy. Got a little lost in the sauce there. Demon deal. Oh, that's sick. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's probably GG, actually. You do lose Inflict Pain, but we're gaining uh, three damage quad use, so that's all good. Sinew, I don't think you'll have... Sometimes he'll chain, actually, off of the shifter. There's also a combo here where you could take this off, and then, hey, he always chains. Haha. -ha. Don't be silly. You know? I think I might prefer this, actually. Here's what I'll do. I think that's pretty good. Uh, it's gonna change fight to fight, and I'm kinda sweating these days. I'm, I'm being a little bit sweaty with my decision making. Cindy one shots the ghost here, and Agent kills Slate, so we can optimize a little bit. Run. Times three if this forms a... how big? That's petrify. A uh, straight of length three. Doubtful. Growth, right on. Sinew, I'm supposed to look smart here. Sinew, man. I was supposed to look smart, Sinew. Why'd you do this to me? Just a good reminder that even the best ideas are gonna lose to four misses out of two sides. It's all good, Sinew, it happens. You just can't let it get to you. Doesn't even matter now, Agent's here to handle the fucking the whole fight for me. I don't even need you. Okay, go hit that wolf. Thanks, buddy. I was supposed to be smart. Warlock for sure here. He loses Bloodlust, but that doesn't matter. Um, We'll go fight to fight. I will actually try super hard here. Sometimes I'm pretty lazy with item selection, I feel, very often. But I'll sweat. It's all good. Uh, you want Demon Eye here. But in this fight, having the three, we want we need to spread damage. The demon deal will go to Warlock when I need to focus damage, and it'll go to Agent when I need to spread damage. Because they both accomplish roughly the same thing. You're also going to roll for growth very frequently on Herbalist here, because it's much better. And, I mean, shit, dude, I'll roll for pain. Yeah, this is, this is a sweet turn. Look at the synergies. We get the chain cleave on Sinew. We get the growth agent. It goes three, four. That was an incredible turn. Uh, this also plays with uh, inner strength, but it's just a worse version of what I have, right? It's plus one decay. Decay is purple. Inner strength takes the purple keyword away. But uh, I already have plus two. So the only way this would work out is if I picked up cart or bag of holding, which are fours and fives. Cart is plus one item slot onto a unit. But I guess it could work out if I get Emerald, which is six through eight on a character. But it's only a plus one, so Metal Studs is fine. Mm. I don't know. It's kind of close, actually. I think you could pick either of these, because Mushroom plus one is not terrible. Although it's a little worse now that things go negative. What am I talking about? That doesn't matter. Like, it matters for like Bloodlust, kind of. But I think you go Metal Studs here. Most likely, it's a non-choice. Uh, by the way, this is Agent kills Hydra, so I will move this stuff over to Warlock. Because Agent just auto-kills Hydra for you. Presumably. You know, it's maybe wrong to presume, but presumably. Agent kills Hydra here. It's okay, Warlock. Can't all be good at this game. It's all good. We still one turn. Surgeon Bash. I'm telling you, by the way, I've said this in another run. Troll King. It's all I fucking fight. I'm not complaining. I don't mind fighting Troll King. I'm just saying. It's all I see. This is Surgeon. Uh, Herbalist is cool, but... Surgeon's better. And this fight, we have a big target and an agent target, so absolutely fine here. Of note is I think we want the two damage kill shot, because we can kill Slate or Archer off of that. 
sometimes it matters. And metal studs goes to sturgeon. Sorry, surgeon, not sturgeon. Let me give you a four damage kill. Kind of cute. So this is redundancy, but it's it's mostly diversifying your options, right? Because now I have multiple ways to get through this slate, which is important. And Troll King is scary because he has a poison on his right. But he's not that scary here, is he? Very nice. So we go shoot you. Six to just pop Troll King. And we'll just sleep. All good. Mm. Doesn't matter who you shield here. This fight's one. I do still believe Troll King is, like, for the time you see him, he's probably the easiest boss. He just falls down so fast. I think there are bad setups that kill you versus Troll King, though. Any brimstone users? Not really. It's times three, though. I can... Oh, you can go... Nah, it doesn't work. You can't get uh, Demon Deal and, Ab or, and Brimstone. You can't get a 9 by 4 So it's just Serration. Sometimes the serration isn't very good, but that's a risk I'm ready to take. And this fight is... we swap it back over to Agent. Uh, you'll never chain... I mean, it's not even worth it to treble. It's not worth the treble. <laughs> and treble is only good on multipliers, so like chain deathwish type be beats. Doesn't work on things like mana gain, so it's worthless here mostly. Uh, yeah, this is all good. Maybe actually you want to go plus one on cleanse, but probably not. Probably not. Was this rescue? Nobody's dying. Nice try. Uh, you're just going to go for the three by four. Nice. What do we get? One. Two, three, four. Looks right to me. Just run down the line. Not a whole lot of agency there. You have to kill the wisps, and there's not a lot of ways to kill wisps, is there? Captain Stoic. I was a, initially I was a big Stoic hater. I was like very anti-Stoic. I'll come around. I think he's all right. Uh, I'm gonna pick him. He's the problem. I think he's the weakest of the Greys because he doesn't use Angel Feather very well. That is one of his biggest flaws. Uh, what are the greys, actually? I, he might actually be the weakest of the greys, because he, he's just old granite, where he walks in, he tanks damage, and then he fucks off. Uh, Prince is, like, similar, right? These two are, like, neck and neck for worst, which is nice, because they are pretty good. Uh, what are the yellows I could run into here, actually? Let me just assess. That's fine, fine. A little bit unfortunate. Fine. Great. Like, game winning, game winning. I should just take the random. Because I can't. Here's, the, here's your walkthrough. I've seen Prince, so I can't see the only one that would be worse for me here. And Prince wouldn't even be worse for me because I have Surgeon. So I, I can't see Prince. So every gray is better. And I can't. Captain is the worst because he can't hold Serration. So the random here can't show me anything that is worse than these two. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Oh, it kind of changes the theme of the run a little bit, because now we have these big charge manas, but not by a lot, I don't think. Anyway, he does take metal studs very nicely, though. And if I get... It, it's just... Angel Feather is, to me, something that is worth at least thinking about, because it is a very impactful pickup for a tier 9. It changes quite a bit. I've damaged self-heal. Hmm. And then what? This fight is such a pain. This is 18? This is 18. I need to not be disrespectful here, because I can definitely lose a character here and have it kind of snowball away from me. What's your other side? Descend. Ooh. Okay, I should roll this. Because the Descend is very good. And then I lock it now. And we just lock in here. Okay. So it's going to go... We have self-heal. So you're just going to take this. 
and it neutralizes. Yeah, five, five to the topmost. Oh, this way actually is fine too. Uh, and then we go, you get a full heal, right? Yeah. I'm just trying to not waste my surgeon heal, but I don't think you can avoid it. This is a half off burst. You don't full heal off of that. Hmm. That was a little wrong. Okay. The other thing that's a little bit of a shame is I don't kill the Kaw, but or I don't hurt the Kaw. I could burst it down to five, I guess, but Sinew is exerted anyway, so bursting it to five doesn't matter. I won't lose anyone here, I don't believe. It would take... They're all single target, so it would take some bad luck. Copy all keywords from the first enemy attack. Hmm. Nice. Thank you. I think you lock this. I might actually just have lethal anyway. But uh, we have to watch out because the chomp will kill my agent. Wait, really? Oh, he's on exactly five. Whoops. Is this shield one? It does. I didn't count right. I got it. First here, maybe pull the call away. Wait. No, sorry. Five, pull the chomp away. There we go. Got it. Uppercut. What does this do? Times two versus targets with the most HP. Hmm. Dumbbell, time stone. Can't trip to the right two sides. Pretty worthless. Dumbbell. Eh. All right, it's it's pretty good actually. It's more than all right. It's fairly strong. There's a few ways to go about this from here. Um, I don't think you take the eight or ten. Let's take a quick moment to review though. I've been like, go 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 mode. Let's take a second. It's not all about speed. There's some good. Most of the eights are pretty good actually. There's not just some good eights. There's a lot of good eights. Spark is good here. Like I'm looking at the worst here. Spark is probably one of the worst. This would be great. Fine, fine. The problem is the tens kind of suck. This, it's okay. Puzzle box, mm, kill an enemy with half or less HP. That one's fine for, but it's, oh, it's five mana. That one's not bad. Uh, pristine to top and bottom is whatever. Stream is cool. I've never seen this one. Plus one to all heal, self heal. Plus one to shield, self shield. Plus one to damage, plus one to mana, mana gain? Am I crazy? Does it- it must double dip or something, right? Because, like, this is just Eye of Horus. This is the nightmare. Egg Basket sucks a lot. Uh, and Mithril Shields is fine. But, yeah, like, by pick rate, like, the worst of these is probably now like charged hammer or boar hide. So the nines are pretty impactful now. I mean, they were always pretty impactful, but you can plan a little more around them. Anyway, uh, time stone is not the take. I think it's dumbbell for eight mana warlock or bust. I wonder if eight mana warlock is all that good. I'm gonna take the random. Sure. Eh. I think we do we do a little reorganizing actually. This looks right. Probably for the future as well. I don't need to get lost in the sauce here. This looks right to me. We get four damage vulnerables. We get two damage quad use. The big thing here, the incongruency, is you don't want the vulnerable on agent, actually. But uh, because you want to be able to capitalize on the vulnerable with the quad use. I'm just going to, for my peace of mind, put this here. Okay. Four... That's cleave? 
That is Cleave. Oh, because that's from Spy. That's from the zombies uh, hit. And then this is Anti-Dog. That one's pretty good, actually. Wait, the zombies do have exactly your HP. Okay. Uh, so the two times four is pretty bad here. We roll four. Yeah, that's eight damage. It's different, though, because it kills the zombie for you. So now I don't have to worry about sinew. I think I do take the shield to all, though. Okay. Zombie, zombie. And troll. Yeah. It's good now in the home stretch to take my time because a bad setup can really kill me. So we want to make sure we. Oh, group growth. Cool. We want to make sure that we take our time here to be sure we're coming correct at this. The hand. Leader Barb. Super interesting pick. Um. Let's think about it. I'm pretty sure it's a leader, which is, you're going to go, huh? How is it not Barbarian? So let's, let's discuss why. Uh, the big problem that Barbarian faces here is that he dies fast. Like, he dies super fast. That's his whole shtick. We don't have support to keep him alive other than revive, but racing the hand is really hard now. You need to do something super busted to the hand to kill him. And what we're going to do that's super busted here is we're going to do quad use vulnerable. And Barbarian only hits at a cap one higher on his vulnerable. He'll hit a five where Leader's going to hit a four, right? Or no, three, four. You're going to hit a four. You're going to hit a three, four, five, six. So he caps two higher, to be fair. Uh, maybe that pushes him a little bit. But I have to find the time to hit all of these, which is not very viable. I've been finding that even though I just said it's hard to race the hand, we're still going to race the hand. Like We're going to try to kill him fast. And if Barbarian misses and hits his middle sides, we're playing uh, Pain, which is going to kill him. If Leader misses, he's potentially giving me Smith, which is very similar to plus three damage output, which is almost what this is doing. Or he's giving me a reuse, which is also good. So I'm going to lean towards Leader here. That's your reasoning. And we could maybe do this, actually, because I don't think the duplicate attack is ever going to be good. We can give the Aegis up. Uh, now let's just go over all of our options here. The big thing is that I have Surgeon, which really beats down the hand. The only thing the hand can do that's bad is six poison cleave me. Everything else is completely fine. And if he six poison cleaves anyone other than Surgeon, I'll still be fine. Like, and that, there's only one hit, right? He has to target a leader, but still. Uh, let's just get it, shall we? Ooh. Rough start. But this is not the end of the world. I hit vulnerable and I'm pretty sure he just dies. Mm, let me check what I have here. I have 12, 24, 24. Not too far off. I have seven damage off. And if I undo this, he's at what? He's, okay. So if Warlock rolls mana, it's exactly so. If he doesn't, we can work it out. I don't need Poet to keep rolling. I just need Warlock to roll here. Okay, that's lethal. If I'm not mistaken. Actually, I bet it's lethal if I go reuse here. We can just go uh, boost. Yeah, that seems good. Like I said, the trick to beating the hand is giving yourself a diverse set of options that do crazy things. I know that this wasn't that crazy, but uh, this side that leader rolled was worth 16 damage, where the warlock side was worth, or the barbarian side's only worth 11 there. And that small difference is the difference between killing or letting the hand live, I'm pretty sure. You can run the numbers yourself, right? Uh, maybe, no, because leader missed his serration hits, so. I don't know. I, that, that's how I've been going about it lately. Anyway. It seems like the way to go. Where you just make sure that you have backup plans. Because if I do the crazy shit, I'm always going to win. So what happens when I don't do the crazy shit? What happens when he high rolls and I low roll? And in this case, I win anyway. Because I, I didn't low roll, actually. If Warlock rolls an X there, then things are bad. But it's unlikely that you hit a full low roll, right? That's not going to happen to you. You're not going to roll 5x's. If you're rolling 5x's consistently, I mean, uh, how? Surgeon has shit covered, right? Just an interesting run. Lots of, uh, like, 
good decision making that has to go on to win this run i feel lots of hard thoughts mostly though the the story of this run is swapping the items around something that i'm often very lazy about but hey we sweat anyway hey thanks for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to leave me a like subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you in the next one have a good one